Hey y'all, I'm Val with our Forever Farm. This apron is one of the ones the kids gave me a couple of years ago. I love it. I love all my aprons. I wish I wore them more. Today, well, first of all, excuse the construction if you hear it. Um, there's sawing, hammering, lots of men talking outside. And you can hear them in here. Today we're making a Japanese fruit pie and I'm just using bulk pie shells. We're gonna make it easy as it can be because this is the easiest pie ever. I make this a lot at Christmas and give it for gifts. And um, my mom, that's one of the few things she used to cook. She wasn't a very big cook, but I'm gonna make two. You're gonna preheat your oven at 300 degrees and you want unbaked pie shells is what you want. So again, I'm just using regular store-bought pie shells. There is nothing wrong with this at all. I keep them in my freezer all the time. I do like to handle dough and I like to make my own dough and I love to challenge myself to see if I can make a pretty pie, pie crust. Usually they're not, <laughs> but they're good. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is melt this butter. I just melted my butter in, some, in a, a paper bowl and uh, stuck it in the microwave. That's the easiest way to do it. And it does have some that's not melted, so I'm trying to stir it up just a little bit. I'm so glad y'all are here, and thank you so much for watching us. Thank you for supporting us. We love your comments. I never thought we'd be on YouTube. Who would ever think that? Somebody like us. And to meet some of y'all is a, it's just a blessing. It is a blessing. Thank you for hollering at us in restaurants and stores. We went to Walmart the other day and somebody hollered at us and they always recognize Sweet Hunter. Probably because I look so different all the time. So I'm gonna pour this butter in a bowl. I always thought that this was my mom's recipe, but after going through some recipe card files in her house when she passed away, I found out it was originally her mom's recipe, which is my grandma Cochran's recipe. So this is sweet memories of my mom and my grandma. This has also made me want to make sure that I have handwritten cards with my recipes that I love for my children when I'm gone. It means a lot, it really does. This recipe is great to make ahead and freeze. Let's get back to this Japanese fruit pie. As you can see, I'm adding two tablespoons of vinegar, white vinegar. Now some are gonna snarl their nose at this, but I'm telling you, this is the key to this pie. Do not leave the vinegar out. So I'm gonna add two cups of sugar. How easy is that? Just stirring as I go. And the main reason again is to cool this butter down before I put the eggs in it. It's time to add our eggs. I'm cracking four eggs into a separate bowl. I try to remind you often to do it in a separate bowl. That makes it easy if a shell falls in, you can get it out. Now, before I put my eggs in, I'll spill them everywhere. That's what I'll do. I'll whisk them just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and temper the eggs just in case uh, it is still warm. And temper again is just warming the eggs. And I don't think it needs much. And we're gonna add the eggs to the butter and the sugar. Really, there's no rhyme or reason which uh, ingredient you put in first. You're just adding them all together. Now I'm gonna stir this up. So now we're gonna add the nuts. We're gonna stir those up. This will mix everything really good. We're gonna add a cup of coconut. The recipe will be in the description box. There'll be a lot more videos in there if you'd like to go check that out. We're gonna add the cup of raisins. Stir it up really, really good. I told you, easiest pie you'll ever make. And let me tell you how good it is. I don't like raisins, 
Sweet Hunter doesn't like coconut, and we both love this pie. Now this recipe will make two regular pie crust, but I do have a, a deep dish pie. So it takes a lot of that recipe. I'm gonna make another one to fill my other one. That's it, y'all. Now we're gonna bake it at 300 degrees. You want this pie to be lightly brown and slightly set. I know a lot of you are gonna ask me what I'm gonna do with this leftover since I bought deep dish pie shells. I'm gonna show you. So all I'm gonna do is cut some rounds out of a, another pie shell that I had in the freezer. And let me go ahead and cut these out. I don't know how many it'll make, we'll see. And then all I'm gonna do is just take these little pie shells right in here. In the muffin tins. These will be perfect to freeze. Let me see if I can make another one out of this. I think I can. For y'all that haven't saw it, little Huddy wrote on my dough roller. It's with a food safe marker though, so don't worry, we're good. I think I can get this one. I'm not sure I can get another one for that sixth one. We'll try though. Doesn't hurt to try. Y'all know me, I don't waste a thing and I'm the freezer queen. I love to have small desserts like a piece of cake or a piece of pie on a small paper plate inside a Ziploc bag frozen, ready for Sweet Hunter to just go get what he wants out of the freezer anytime he wants it. All he has to do is thaw it out and eat it. Freezing food this way is a great way just for the two of us. It makes it very easy on me. Everybody thinks I cook a lot, but I have a lot of freezer meals in the freezer and desserts, and it just makes it easier. This is good for a small family or a big family. And as I always say, use your freezer, even if it's just a shelf. Fast food, y'all. Fast food. Looky there. So these will go in the oven, too. All right. I about forgot to show y'all the pies coming out of the oven. This is one. It's beautiful. I've already been eating on the one that I did in the muffin tin. It's kind of broke to pieces, but it's very, very good. And like I say, Sweet Hunter doesn't like coconut. I'm not a fan of raisins, but this is very, very good. Let me go get the other pie and show you. There's Sweet Hunter. Say hey, Sweet Hunter. Hey, Sweet Hunter. <laughs> Y'all go cook something. <laughs> 